Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on Natural One and DevOps. In this video, we will focus on the repository. This is an illustration of the Natural One DevOps process and toolchain. Source code changes are done in repository-based team development using a source code management system like Subversion or Git. Let's take a more detailed look at this part of the process, especially as it relates to a repository and the way Natural One is integrated. The Natural One development environment is used to implement natural applications. Natural One connects to a natural development server to build and run an application. A source code management system like Git or Subversion is used as a repository server. This repository is now the single source of truth and no longer the F user. Using a repository has a lot of advantages, such as maintaining a history, tracking and comparing changes, rollback, and merging. Using a decentralized source control system like Git allows each developer to work on a local copy of the repository. Development teams moving to repository-based development will need to execute an initial push to the central repository. Let's take a closer look on how to accomplish this. What we're seeing now is our central Git repository. I'm using the GitLab Community Edition here. I've created a natural initial demo project, which is currently empty. In a future step, we will be sharing a natural application with this Git repository. First, we need to copy the repository's URL to use in the upstream later. Now we'll switch over to the natural development environment. This is the Natural One development environment. Our workspace is currently empty. At the bottom is the natural server view. From here, we can connect to remote natural environments running a natural development server. We can list libraries and execute programs. I will select the library lib1 so I can export it to the workspace. We'll select Add to New Project via the context menu. We'll just call it lib1. After we confirm, we can see that the project is immediately available in the workspace. As it's already connected to the right environment, we can go ahead and test whether the demo Hello World program is working. To do so, we'll run this application, which will start up the natural Hello World application. Now we need to add this application to our Git repository. To do the initial push, I'll navigate to the Share Project option via Team. Because we're sharing this project to a Git repository, we first need to define a local repository. We'll save the location of our local Git repository here and hit Finish. We have now shared the project in the workspace with the local Git repository. The modules and files, however, have not been added yet, so we'll again navigate over Team to commit them. We can select all the files to be added in a single step, and then enter a commit message like Initial Commit. Now, we just need to click Commit and Push. This will open a dialog for the remote Git repository destination, which is the central Git repository. You can see presets that already have been entered because I already had the URI copied to my clipboard. We'll select Next and see that the Git dialog is pre-populated. We just need to click through to see that the new branch has been created. We'll click Finish and see that the new branch was added. Let's switch over to the Git repository. In the Git repository, we can see that the project has now been added. This video was about Natural One and DevOps with a closer look about repositories.